Hey everyone, welcome to another video and today we are going to be talking about Retrobit, the company that has brought us a lot of cool titles for retro systems, um, games like Always Awakening, Mega Man The Wily Wars for the Sega Genesis, and also Undercover Cops for the Super Nintendo. I recently saw them at the Portland Retro Gaming Expo and they had a lot of items on display and they had some future items on somewhat on display as well uh, one of those items i want to talk about real quick is the ballast collection coming out pretty soon um pre-order start now uh, i am very excited about this collection um what's funny is i actually got rid of my ballast games i want to say around two years ago uh, because they were going for so much and i did have a little bit of buyer's remorse um but now after seeing this collection i have no remorse those old genesis cards from the early 90s look pretty ugly but these ballast cards by retrofit look freaking fantastic and i am very happy that this collection is coming out now i may have talked about the ballast games on my channel before i don't really remember it was a long time ago but they are platform games and pretty much they go over the story of a girl who gets transferred to another world and has to save it don't want to go too much into the story because you can find out most of it by playing these games. But what I want to tell you guys is that you could buy these games individually, but I recommend you buy the whole collection instead. I just feel like having the whole collection will be a better experience uh, for people who play these games. You know, just buying one and kind of missing out on the other is just kind of like a, I don't know, I think that would be a bad way of uh, playing these games. But definitely, I would say get the whole collection if you decide to do it. If not, I'm sure you have your reasons. Now, pre-orders have already started on this collection of games, but they end on November 27th. So, I uh, just want to put that out there so you guys know. You have all the way until November 27th to order these. Don't miss out on this great collection of games. All right, so hopefully I got the Ballast Collection burned into your guys' heads. Uh, if you miss out on that collection, you better be broke. But anyways, uh, here is Avenging Spirit for the Game Boy. This book-like box really impressed me. Uh, it has a lot of art. That's a throwback to the game, as you can see on the left-hand side. And as you can see here, here's the game. Um, the game actually does glow in the dark, but unfortunately I wasn't able to show it properly in this video. And here on the inside, you can see the main character and the main girl of the storyline. Very cute looking. Now let's take a look at the back. Got some gameplay on the back so you know what you're getting into. And of course you have a manual, one of my favorite parts of these collections. Um, in English and Japanese, uh, very well put together. Then of course the game card itself. Like I said, I tried to like uh, like figure this out to where I could show you how it looks when it glows, but uh it just didn't work out so unfortunately i couldn't really show that but you know what i'm gonna try to show you guys anyways so you guys could get a little i don't know just a little glimpse of what it kind of looks like uh, there's lighting on it in the room i'm in so unfortunately you can't see the full effect but when there's no lighting it looks freaking awesome so uh that is retro bits avenging spirit I really think this cover and this collection pretty much does justice to the game. I know the original game looks kind of silly the way the cover looks, but this one looks awesome. So now, let's take a look at some gameplay. 
Now, I feel like most people that have played this game play the Game Boy version. A lot of people didn't even know this was an arcade game. I think most people who like adventure platformer type games, or I guess you could even call this game maybe somewhat a beat em up as well, depending on which uh, character you possess. But overall, I would say this is a great game that RetroBit has brought back for modern audiences. I know the black and white may uh, throw some people off, but if you play in a Game Boy Color or a Super Game Boy, um, there will be color added to the game. But let me know in the comments how you guys feel about Avenging Spirit. Alright, so here is Battletoads and Double Dragon, the ultimate team. Uh, this is the NES version. And man, I was very excited to get this from Retrobit. So I originally had the original game back in the day. But I got rid of it, you know, I just felt like no, there was no use for it, you know, having the Super Nintendo version. But a lot of people don't know this, that the Super Nintendo version has some, has some cut content, which the NES version and the Genesis version has. So, I um, wanted to get this again from Retrobit. And as you can see here, uh, it's one of those open book type of cases, just like uh, Avenging Spirit, which I thought was very cool. I love the art they put together. On the left hand side you see here, it shows the Battletoads, one of my favorite Battletoads, which is Zits. And the Super Nintendo version of Return of Double Dragon, or some people call it Super Double Dragon. I love that art of Billy and, and Jimmy Lee. Very, very well put together. And also has this cover that kind of shows the intro to one of the levels, which is really awesome. Now we take a look at the cart here itself. Um, it doesn't glow or anything like that, but man, it really fits the game, I would say. Uh, definitely something I feel that's really, really awesome. And what's cool about the back here is that you can see the chipboard uh, the game is on. And they actually put like pixel art of the Battletoads and Double Dragons, like kind of like running. Their running animations, I thought that was really cool that they put that in there. They did the same thing for Avenging Spirit, but I forgot to mention that while I was showing it to you guys. And also, you can see the manual here, full color manual. Not that you'll need too much instruction in this game. This one pretty much is a full beat-em-up compared to the original Battletoads game. Ugh, that game was pretty rough. But anyways, inside here, um, this right here is actually a stand for the game. So, um, you could put your cart... Uh, on this stand which I'll show right now and um, very impressive how it looks and as you can see here it came with uh, Double Dragons and Battletoads doing their signature moves in the game I thought that was pretty cool and that is pretty much the full package uh, of Battletoads and Double Dragons from Retrobit uh, like I said very impressive happy to have this uh, the standy extra <laughs> is really cool kind of represent the game and also oh, I forgot to show you guys the back cover of it too let me show that to you real fast but now let's take a look at some gameplay now there are four versions of this game that are out there there are the NES version which you're seeing here the Super Nintendo version the Genesis version and also the Game Boy version, which I don't think a lot of people know about. Matter of fact, that might be a good game for Retro Bit to bring back, the Game Boy version. But anyways, going into this version, this version and the Genesis version uh, have scenes that are cut out of the uh, Super Nintendo version for some reason. And pretty much those scenes are the, are the ones that when you, you beat a level and defeat an enemy, it shows them beat up and P Professor T-Bird talking crap to him. For some reason, they cut that out of the SNES version. I have no reason why, but uh, I thought that was pretty weird. But anyways, for the most part, this game is a beat-em-up, at least for the first three levels. The fourth level is kind of like this uh, shooter level that's a pretty, it takes a little bit to get used to, but it's not that hard. Uh, but I had a lot of fun with this game back in the day, and I think a lot of people will... Uh, I don't know, man. I feel like they'll come to love this game if they give it a go. If you haven't played Battletoads and Double Dragons, like, this is pretty much the ultimate game. At least that's what I used to say back in the day. I love this game. And the Nintendo version is pretty good. So it's, it's definitely comparable with what I would say the Genesis version. Even though I consider the SNES version the superior version out of all of them, uh, the Nintendo version is pretty badass itself. So, But uh, definitely give this version of the game a go, especially if you're an NES collector. Uh, I used to love Battletoads and Double Dragons back in the day, and I still love it to this day. Uh, hopefully, maybe one day somebody will come out with, well, never mind, because Rare is owned by Xbox, so I uh, doubt we'll get some kind of like sequel or ultimate team-up again. But still, um, definitely a game that's worthy of your time. Uh, definitely check this one out.
Also, I got a RetroBit uh, N64 controller. I had never like handled one of these before, and this thing is freaking awesome. Now, one of my favorite games to, to play on the N64 is actually Star Fox 64, and I was really impressed with this. They're coming out with a, I believe the wireless one is already out, but there's a crystal version that was uh, on a, a Castle Mania games that was, uh, I think, limited to a certain amount of copies. I can't remember. They might still be available. But man, I was really impressed with this controller. Uh, definitely will have me diving back into my N64 games. Honestly, guys, I don't know if there was a proper way to hold the original N64 controller. It always felt weird. I got used to it, but still, it always felt awkward. But this controller felt like it was meant to be. This should have been the official N64 controller design. And if Retrobit designed this, man, awesome on them. Good job, guys. But anyways, guys, uh, that is the stuff I wanted to go over in this video. Um, very impressed with Retrobit. And also seeing some of their future stuff, man, really put a smile on my face. So let's take a look at some of that stuff. The Sega Saturn Wireless Pro Controller coming soon. Uh, this controller is obviously wireless, but it has analogs on it, which was, man, oh, that was awesome, you know, using that controller. Uh, that is the ultimate controller for any Sega Saturn collection. And now, just to kind of go over just kind of like uh, what they had displayed, that's the uh, Crystal N64 controller. Hopefully not, they're not sold out, and then there's some wireless controllers here. Uh, just just overall, this man, looking at this stuff got me really pumped up. So uh, hopefully you guys feel the same way about RetroBits products. Um, they, they haven't let me down. And, you know, the fact that they're putting out, like, accessories games for older retro systems uh, to this day is this man it's just really awesome for us old school gamers holy diver. Uh, holy diver that game i played that briefly before but that game is tough our type collection i have that one right there um metal storm very cool always awakening one of the recent since as you can see here some of their future releases briefly <laughs> i don't know if you caught that there's a mega man uh let's see here avenging spirit Guy Aris, Undercover Cops. But anyways, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Definitely check out Retrobit, what they got to offer. I'll have links in the description. And don't forget to order Valus. If you don't, um, hey, I don't know what to tell you. Anyways, guys, Radical Reggie, and I will see you in the next video.